We are going to cover this video. I can't believe that it's on the internet. It's real. We shouldn't be shocked by it because it's our President Biden and he can barely comprise a sentence. But, you know, we could hardly talk about weird propaganda efforts, especially during Black History Month. And the idea that President Biden sat down with black people and, and ate fried chicken. I don't know, guys. Just watch the video. Well, I mean, you got chicken fingers, you got all <laughs> I went the route of making sure I had the hamburger. So tell me about you guys. What you doing these days? Why don't you share about your passion of sports? I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? Are you guard? Yes, sir. Now, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Right now, I'm just doing basketball, playing guard on the JV team for my school. Well, I can't speak on behalf of all black Americans, but every time I sit down, I assume that people are going to feed me fried chicken. That's all I eat. Never once eaten anything else. I have no idea what anything else tastes like. It's absurd. It's forced conversation. People can see that. Tell him about your sports. That you're, Is this supposed to be the appeal for the black vote? Is that what we're getting this year? Because I, I actually prefer the, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. That feels slightly more authentic. Actually, that's the realest thing Joe Biden never said. He basically was like, I will take your black card. You know what to do. Black people must vote Democrat. That's how it works. We've enslaved your vote. And I'm not going to work for it. I prefer that Joe Biden, to be honest, not the, not the fried chicken narrative. Just to be clear, on behalf of Americans, I'd like to say, fried chicken is always delicious. Who doesn't like fried chicken? I don't even know how that got tagged to black people. I love fried chicken. Everyone loves fried chicken. It's delicious. Also, just to point out there, Joe Biden was eating a burger. <laughs> I just love He's just like, the fried chicken is for you. The burger is for me because you black people love fried chicken. In that same category, by the way, Charlemagne the God, one of the various black media outlets that refuses to invite me on. I wonder why. I have an idea. Maybe I'll talk about it with, with Joe Budden. But he recently sat down with ABC News because they always go to him to see what black America is thinking. And here is what Charlemagne the God had to say about President Biden. Take a listen. I, I saw you describe this campaign that we're headed into as uh, a race between uh, the cowards, the crooks, and the couch. Yeah, the crooks are the Republicans. The, the, the cowards are the Democrats because they don't fight hard enough on anything. And, you know, the couch is voter apathy. And, you know, that's, that's who everybody is up against in 2024. And right now, right now, it feels like the couch is going to win. Well, he's, a, he's just an uninspiring candidate. Like, you know, there's nothing about, you know, Joe Biden that makes you want to listen to him. That's why he should be leaning on, you know, his vice president, Kamala Harris, who's way more charismatic than him. He should be le leaning on, you know, other surrogates like, you know, G Gavin Newsom or, you know, Sh Sh Shapiro in, 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 P in Pennsylvania. Like a lot of questions that I have there. First and foremost, you won't get a disagreement with me uh, when it comes to saying that Republicans are crooks and so are Democrats. That's actually kind of the entire reason that I supported Trump, because he was calling out the swamp. They're all enriching themselves um, while Americans suffer. But I would really like to press Charlemagne the God on the idea that the Democrats are not crooks. That is astounding to me. Like, how do you support a party that gave you Hillary Clinton, right, that gave you the military industrial complex and say, no, 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 they're just, they're just scared. The Democrats are just scared. That's the least, actually, that is the last adjective that I would use to describe Democrats. They are always down for a protest. They've got Antifa thugs in the streets willing to promote their narrative. So definitely not scared. Actually, I would argue that maybe Charlemagne the God is scared to say what is true about Democrats, to say what it actually means when Joe Budden looks him in the face and says, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black, to say what it actually means when Hillary Clinton appears on The Breakfast Club and tells you that she has hot sauce in her bag. That's what I think. I actually think Charlemagne the God is scared to be honest about Democrats in the same way that I'm willing to be honest about Republicans and what is happening in D.C. You just need to have a more honest conversation about what's happening in this country. At least that is where I am at. But don't worry, Charlemagne. I won't check for your invite in the mail because I'm sure I'm not invited. Hey guys, if you like this video, you will definitely like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.